Well, ladies and gentlemen, this YouTube drama is insane. We first had the Mr. Beast situation, or I should say, like, the Dr. Disrespect situation, right? Then the Chris Tyson situation, Mr. Beast situation, Logan Paul. And now it's getting down to the homie KSI as well. And the homie KSI has completely lost its mind. You are about to see the videos that are going around right now. I guess this is what happens when you have Prime and Lunchly all together. You lose your mind. You lose your mind. I guess that's the one reason to never have Lunchly, guys. Like the video. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Shout out to all of you guys for almost a thousand likes on the yesterday's video, man. You guys are killing it, man. But check this out. Shout out to the homie. More Pegasus. Roll it. Stay my time, TDM fans. Womp womp. <laughs> KSI and Logan have responded to the Lunchly drama what? yet again, and this is by far the worst response yet. Basically, if you missed the last video, they were having these crybaby meltdowns after Dan TDM called them out for the new product yeah. Lunchly, which is some ultra processed food that they're trying to sell to kids. Pretty much, they made a bunch of tweets crying about the whole situation and even made new videos on their channels. And basically, it was a large amount of copium and fake laughing. But uh, apparently, Dr. Mike also made a video who's the uh, who's actually a real doctor, also happens to make YouTube videos right. And he's saying he's going crazy at KSI and Logan Paul because, of course, these uh, these suckers are pushing that crap product to kids. Like the obesity problem is real, right? And they're just like, okay, let's up the percentages of that even more, you know? Today we have a bunch of updates from KSI making another new apology video on his clips channel to Logan Paul promoting Lunchly from the hospital room of his newborn baby. I really wish I was joking. But anyways, let's start off with KSI posting a. Bro had a kid and was like, okay, let's promote Lunchly. Okay, bro. New video to his clips channel called My Apology to Dan TDM. Hey guys, um, a lot's happened these past few days and uh, I've had a lot of time to reflect and really understand everything that's happened and all of my actions. And, you know, first of all, I want to, uh, sorry. I want to Okay, obviously in standard KSI fashion, it's yet another fake apology with another bunch of fake laughs with Logan sucking him off under the table, giving him the ultra gluck gluck glizzy 9000. Now I want you guys to keep in mind, this is the same guy whining on Twitter, asking why everybody just hates him. He will just- The craziest thing here is that KSI was the least in controversies and even if he was i i personally don't know if he was or not but uh, to me it sounds like and the way it felt like that he was never in a controversy but of course people would point out uh, because he had affiliation with logan paul logan paul scammed his audience he was like he had that situation in japan from which he recovered right like he apologized and he genuinely started pushing out like good content is what i saw on the internet right like that's where people were at but then when he scammed his audience like a lot of people were like oh man this guy also did that crap in japan so people brought that up uh, and of course like logan paul also i believe sued coffee zilla something like that could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong he was beefing right he was beefing big time and ksi would always be dragged into that ksi never really had like any controversy it just happens to be he was affiliated with prime and logan paul so you know what i mean that's why people we're going crazy at him and then like the entire mr b situation happened right with the chris tyson so a chris tyson situation happened there's just countless other dramas that mr beast has been in and ksi is like right in the middle and the only real controversy that's with ksi right now is because is that he is with mr beast and he is with logan paul and both of them just getting annihilated by the community based off of what's coming out and also ksi is promoting lunchly prime yeah you know there's that and then when he apologized that way it's like it pushes even more fire towards him kind of that's a hater i wonder why guys i wonder why people actually why everybody just hates him people just hate him i wonder why guys i wonder why people actually hate ksi maybe because you're an insufferable piece of shit man i don't know Damn. even when you're completely wrong in the situation you keep doubling down over and over and over again pretending it's just racist people that hate you or dan tdm fans that are molding or something when in reality it's your own fans that just don't like you anymore i feel like people are slowly understanding that just because somebody was entertaining in the past doesn't mean they are a good person and should continue to be supported right because from what i understand your entire reddit hates you your entire youtube comment section hates you the, the twitter feed is just absolutely ratioing you literally on every single social media you're getting absolutely cooked and that's not dan tdm fans that is your own fans that are disappointed because man. you are showing so much immaturity man like yes i was like so goaded though with like try not to laugh videos you know 
I'm saying? Like, something that I also want to do on the channel. Like, I, I drop, like, occasional try not to laugh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just lighthearted videos, you know? You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, we got gaming drama, we got YouTubers drama. What's going on, man? Yo, shout out to the homie for subscribing. Guys, if you are into UFOs and conspiracies, man, no drama. But if you guys love those kind of videos, I got a second channel. That's where we upload mostly every other day, guys. Definitely check it out. If you want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member as well, man. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. When they probably thought that you somewhat grew from your old self, but instead you ended up just an extremely cocky and annoying person. I mean, KSI is pretty much the exact opposite of Dan TDM, you know? Because if someone is going to describe Dan TDM, they'd probably say he's humble, kind, and just all around good guy who probably wants the best for his audience. Meanwhile, KSI's legacy is being an absolute insufferable dickhead, selling out his audience for money, <laughs> crypto yeah. rug pulls, unhealthy pro- uh, Yeah, like promoting crypto scams and all that bull squash, it's like... Unless you have like a crypto channel or finance channel and then when you do that, understandable. Or, or I mean, technically you can, I'm not against people like having sponsorship promoting crypto. You can do that if you want to, but like, but when you're promoting actual scams and, and especially when you're linked with Logan Paul, who has been criticized by the entire community based off of what he done. Yeah, and then when you re and then you respond the way you do, but pushing prime, pushing like poison on kids allegedly, pushing lunchly, which is also poison allegedly. Gotta say that man, this like is crazy, bro. Like uh, just like how Mr. B sent out a season desist, try to sue that uh, the other. The, I for I'm forgetting his name, man. I'm forgetting his name. He made like three videos, like, and I believe he dipped right now. He was the ex employee, right? Oh, dog pack. And if dog pack, dog pack course being best friends with logan paul and mr beast like i don't know how he has the audacity to talk about legacy when he makes decisions like this all the time and it's pretty much ruined any sort of legacy he might have had what's up what's up <laughs> so he made an apology video without apologizing right bruh yeah. yeah talk about apology videos man I want to say something. <laughs> I can't bro, do it. like, <laughs> damn, hey, yo, bro. Drink Prime and eat lunch, me, bro. <laughs> nah, man, don't drink Prime, guys. Drink water, bro. Drink water. Prime is poison for you, dog. Like, don't do it, man. <laughs> Stay mad, Dan TDM fans. Womp womp. <laughs> Perfectly sane man over there. That is that is the look of somebody who is absolutely unbothered by the situation. You got uh, uh, yeah. You want proof why you should not drink Prime or eat lunchly? You saw it, guys. You saw it. <laughs> this this is what happens when you drink Prime and eat lunchly. Like this is what happens. Let me show you. Stay my dad, TDM fans. Womp womp. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly sane happens. man over there. That is that is the look of somebody who is absolutely unbothered by the situation. You guys totally got owned, man. That guy is cool as a cucumber, obviously. Also, I don't know why he keeps saying Dan TDM fans. That must be like some severe form of copium because it is really your own fans. Because if oh, you remember, really? all Dan TDM has done is make one tweet half a month ago. He has not mentioned the drama on any of his YouTube channel. So like he uh, he dropped that tweet and then he peaced out and it's still having ripple effects. Crazy. Meaning that most of his fans who obviously follow him on YouTube don't even know about this situation at all. It's only like mm. the very tiny minuscule portion of his fans that actually follow him on Twitter. So obviously mm. it's just mm. not Dan TDM mm. fans. It's literally your own fans that actually hate you. And Holy. obviously you're even- Yo, that is crazy. So Dan TDM, 29 million subscribers. That's insane. Yeah, uh, no disrespect though, but uh, I did not know who uh, he was. I still don't know who he is really. I, I, I All I know is that Minecraft YouTuber or maybe he's switching up content. I just- I'm not the target audience, so I don't watch his content, but from what I'm hearing, he's a wholesome YouTuber. Uh, and, and 29 million subscribers, that's no joke, though. I mean, I, I'm grateful as F to have you watching this video and being subbed or not subbed. Hey, man, it, that's up to you, right? But I'm grateful at AF to have almost a quarter million subs here, right? So 29 million, that's like, holy crap, man. It is crazy, right? Mr. Beast, uh, I believe he's uh, past 300 million subs, too. Just insane numbers, man. Insane numbers. It, it's it's uh, it's it's insane, man. It's crazy. You've gone a little bit off the deep end. Let's be honest, all right? You are absolutely losing your mind here. And I don't know what to say. If you're 30, 31 years old or whatever and acting like an anime villain in your videos, I, I think you need to get a grip and probably log off the internet for a little bit. Also, in Bruh. my last video, a bunch of you Bruh. in the comment section pointed out how annoying KSI's fake laughs are. And now that I'm watching him a little bit more, yeah, it's become so obvious that... That is crazy, right? Because at one point, his laugh 
laughs were people I remember commenting, hey, your laughs are contagious. And yeah, laughs can be contagious, but it, it just happens to be that now people are not feeling it, right? They're not feeling it. So if you're going to laugh like this after the drama that you have been, you're in, yeah, right? They are completely fake and it's just copium. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have watched any of those sitcoms where in the background they're always playing one of those laugh tracks because they need to artificially induce laughs from the audience yeah. because the joke yeah, isn't yeah. funny enough. He just sort yeah, of generates yeah. laughs himself to sort of cope with the fact that nobody is on his side. I mean, it's pretty obvious to me that you're pretty much crying inside, dude. And can I just say, Dan TDM made the tweet half a month ago. We are literally in a new month. It's October now. And this dude is still hardcore molding. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe the allegedly lead and mercury in his prime actually <laughs> melted off his brain for once there's there's no other explanation for this level of stupidity in my opinion all right also turns out he's you wanted proof right here you go guys don't drink i i'm telling y'all man water is the best drink bro water is the best bro i get it sometimes you want to have your sodas and crap like that okay but never replace water guys drink water not prime okay that's a that's a motor right now like the video for that man like the video if you agree like the video if you agree he's a massive hypocrite here's a clip of him criticizing messi for quote unquote copying prime but then he just goes Bruh. around and does the same shit with lunchly messi new drink compared Bruh. to prime thoughts i don't know about you but uh it looks very similar to prime am i right or am i right like even the ridge like come on guys but uh, has just copied our homework it's outrageous outrageous guys it's totally outrageous I, I wonder who would copy some other brand completely taking exactly what they were doing barely changing anything and saying it has more electrolytes cough cough lunchables and lunchly wow maybe maybe ksi messi was just making a better for you alternative to prime you know he was just he was just doing a good thing you know taking market space from people who are not making the best product possible i think you should be braced for that honestly what an absolute clown omega hypocrite bro now, I oh man oh man after this case i went on twitter again and attempted to complain about dan tdm but this time he got ratioed so hard <laughs> that he actually deleted his tweet here's a tweet from drama alert ksi is still mocking dan tdm basically he tweeted thanks for the free promo see at dan tdm dm me your bank details for the payment lol i think at this point ksi is a better hydration drink than prime because he actually has more salt here's what people are saying his fans are turning on him i grew up watching you and now i've realized you never grew up do better Damn. ksi's downfall is about to begin bro so salty it's insane KSI tweeted him at least 13 times, all to receive no reply. Now, KSI actually ended up arguing with random- Bro, Dan TDM just dropped a nuke and he dipped. Yeah, that's how it feels like. He just dipped. And KSI is like, trying his best to get a reaction out of him. And Dan TDM is like, Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we're just gonna enjoy, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna chill. And that's it. And KSI is like, bro. It's all crickets right now, you know? KSI is trying to get a reaction from him, but not people on Twitter, it. the other guy catching a left hook. Basically, somebody responded saying, bro, this is not helping you at all. Wrap it up and apologize. Your mother should apologize to me for creating you. So I guess Damn. because Dan TDM didn't respond, he just had to go reply to random people on Twitter. I mean, th this is just getting sad, dude. This is the most unoriginal and weakest comeback in the book. He thinks he's in middle school. I think that's too old for him. The maturity level there is a bit high. I think down to primary school would be more like it. Now he made yet another follow-up tweet after getting commuted. I guess it's safe to say, like, if dr drinking Prime can bring any man to primary school level. Yeah, so don't drink Prime. He noted two times. The countdown is up. The apology video is now live and ready for you to view. Basically, if you remember the last video, he made a site to promote his music. And then he tweeted out that, oh, this is my apology. Click on the link. And basically, it would just go to his music. And I don't really oh, get man. the logic there. Because if I'm an angry fan and I click to see an apology, and then I get hit with your ear-piercingly dog shit music, I think I'm just going to sue you for auditory assault or something instead of actually becoming a fan. The link is 100% right. misleading. It's a promo angle. As with the quoted tweet, Wait, this link is missed so they ended up getting normally i only see like one readers added context but this time they added two <laughs> e okay bro so they added they added two readers context as with the quoted tweet this link is misleading so it's like the same thing but they added twice so people really get it though they really get it because yeah prime and lunchly got people kind of like their iq draw it is dropping right after yeah don't don't drink prime guys don't drink prime allegedly gonna kill your iq i think it's really gonna but i gotta say allegedly right because me on youtube right now i i think allegedly it's gonna 
Slating as it's a promotion for a new single. This goes against X guidelines. By the way, Game. if it goes against guidelines, why is it in a community note and not just deleting the tweet or something? Because, I mean, you can't expect Twitter to Bruh. enforce any rules, but a faulty link is obviously a shady thing that you probably shouldn't do. And I would not click on any KSI or Logan links, all right? They are very uh, experienced in the art of cryptos games. Oh my God, just let it go already. There's no way you're still talking about this. So just to recap, 30-year-old full-grown man having a midlife crisis because one YouTuber made one tweet about him half a month ago. I, I mean, it's clearly got under his skin somehow. I feel like he's just really mad that people like Dan way more than they like him and he just can't handle that. Because if we look at Dan's life right now, he's <laughs> happily married, has a kid, still yeah. making videos he loves. Yeah, he chilling. That's what I'm saying. Like, he dropped a deuce and he peaced the F out though. You know, he chilling. He had a kid. He's making sure his kid don't grow up to be drinking prime, Bruh. eating lunch legs and all that, right? So, yeah, he chilling, man. He chilling. He chilling. And Kessa is like, oh, bro, like, where's my reply at? I need my reply. I need my reply. How dare you say that? raised an entire generation who actually loves him for it and he never had to scam his own audience for it or sacrifice his morals Crazy. Well, ksi is here crying on the internet trying to earn money any way he can nfts crypto garbage ultra processed food scamming fans best friend yeah and here's the thing right ksi was never in drama yeah like even i would say even after prime yes people were pointing fingers and personally i don't like the guilt by association thing though but now it's like, yeah, Mr. Beast insane, in, is an insane amount of drama. Then you throw Lunch Lee on top after the Prime situation, after Logan Paul. Of course, you add, you combine the Logan Paul situation. It's like, yeah, right? Kessa was never really in drama. Uh, aside from Mr. Beast and Logan Paul being in drama and him being affiliated with them. And now he's, uh, of course, he's like business partner with them. He's in business relationship with them, with, of, of course, with Prime and Lunch Lee. Uh, so yeah, right like there and then he respond the way he do it. Uh, yeah Friends with the guy who filmed the dead body for views partnering with possibly some of the most questionable people on the planet right now I know I got a 30 video series on him and despite Holy. being 30 has the maturity of a 14 year old I don't know about you. I think that's pretty pathetic Anyways, we got to move on to his unofficial wife Logan Paul who has uh, done something so absolutely insane This is dystopian Logan Paul has a child and what do you think he immediately does Logan Paul and partner Nina Antal welcome their first child Esme All right. Okay. Wow. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, like that that chick, right? I remember like there was another fighter boxer fighter ufc guy i don't know if, if, if i'm forgetting his name he lost a fight right i believe right later on, he was hyping up his fight against logan paul i believe he lost I, I could be wrong but he but he done so much damage to logan paul that i still remember after months like he was tweeting uh, i don't yeah that's the thing i don't remember his name that's the craziest part but i remember everything he tweeted about uh, on his wife bro like <laughs> That, that situation was tough. I know, I, I, you probably know who I'm talking about, right? Maybe you all, you don't remember the name, or if you do, let me know in the comments. But he was going crazy. Every day he would draw m sometimes multiple pictures a day of his wife with like another dude, right? Like in sometimes in questionable clothes, other times in questionable positions. Y you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was really, really bad. Like people were like, hey, she's just a BBC writer. People saying that she just loves writing every day, new D, this and that. You know, whenever in Dow, just get a new D. Like, there were just so many of that crap. So, yeah. So, I mean, I guess it's working out well for Logan Paul, at least with this relationship. And listen, man, like, I, I just uh, wish everybody the best. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you like that, uh, yeah, right? Like, uh, I, I, yeah, right? You know what I'm saying? Right? Like, I, I don't want him to get cheated on by nina but or anything like that but like damn man damn bro like that situation was wild bro congratulations logan this is the most important moment of your life you're probably completely offline you know spent enjoying the moment spending time with your wife and uh and uh promoting lunch there's no way there's no way this guy this is a simulation. Logan Paul using his wife's pregnancy to promote Lunchly is so dystopian. And we got a picture Damn. of his wife in the hospital. I turned the hospital room into a vibe. And you can Bruh. see in the corner, something is lurking. Lunchly prom That's peak internet, bro. I, y y <laughs> I don't think... I don't think uh, it's gonna... It can get any worse than this, bruh. Motion, obviously, gotta have that with the birth of your child. And he's holding up Lunchly and Prime while his wife is in the hospital bed. I, I I can't do this, man. If I'm Nina, I'm divorcing you immediately, dude. She gave birth <laughs> and you're sat there with Prime yeah. and Lunchly. Trying even, to... even, after, even after all the pictures that came out about, like, Nina and crap like that, yeah, bro, like, if, if, you're, if your hubby is doing that, bro, just divorce him immediately. <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, I'm like exaggerating or anything like that. I hope it works out, man. Listen, man, damn. Like, I don't want to wish any, any, like, bad stuff on anybody, bro. Like, even though, like, he's a scammer, uh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like that people deserve justice, absolutely, that are victims of Jake Paul, or I should say Logan Paul scam, right? Oh, 110%, but I'm just not, I'm not gonna go out of my way to, like, wish any bad crap on Logan Paul or anybody for that matter, right? So I, I hope it works out, but, like, this is this is just insane, bro. Like, he used damn. the birth of your child as an advertisement for more money. What? How? How absolutely soulless can you be? But should we really be surprised? This is Logan Paul, the man who filmed a dead body for views on the internet. The man that has allegedly done several crypto scams amounting to millions of dollars. Allegedly. Now listen up. If that actually is your child, Logan, uh, because there is actually some internet discourse <laughs> regarding that as well with the whole Dylan Dennis situation. Yeah. But assuming. Yeah, uh, yo, Dylan. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy, Dylan Dennis, he was dropping pictures after pictures, yeah, yeah. Like, apparently this chick has been with everybody by the looks of it. The, the, the way he was dropping pictures and the pictures that were coming out, it felt like that she was with everybody, bro, like... Uh, that is actually your kid. Like, all the NBA teams, all the football teams, like, everywhere, soccer teams, like, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, NFL, like, she was everywhere, bro. I beg you, please do not feed them lunchly or feastables or prime. If you actually want them to live past 40, please give them a regular nutritious diet. I mean, knowing yeah. Logan, his next product is probably baby formula with extra electrolytes. Just be like, well, it has more potassium. It'll, it'll make your child grow, grow taller for sure. He's probably going to take his lunchly, grind it down into a powder, add some like water to that, and then put it in the kid's milk bottle. Got to lace the pacifier with prime as well. You know, make sure, make sure the kid gets his healthy dose of lead in there. Allegedly. At least that way your kid grows up as smart as you. Anyways, here's what people are saying. Think before you sleep says all of you hate don't understand the grind. I gotta be grinding while my wife's giving birth, bro. I gotta get extra moolah, obviously. Sensitive society based Logan Paul question mark. At least we'll see what Prime will do to a child. Okay, how much lead is in these though? By the way, one of the top comments on my last video was something I actually didn't even think of. The reason they released Lunchly was actually to get rid of the garbage feastables and Prime that was not actually selling anymore and was being found on clearance aisles basically. So yeah, that was like their way of salvaging the product and that completely failed as well. So they're just gonna have all the stock that is okay th this was funny like the, the video was actually creative but it's like to promote the crap yeah like whatever bro absolutely unsold and make a massive loss money wise is this real life i can't tell sometimes neither can i honestly this is getting too stupid the movie idiocracy is actually coming to life the baby's cooked bro exposure to even low levels of lead can actually cause damage over time especially in ch children the greatest risk guys whatever you do please don't check out this video man we got insane situation going on with ww3 and crap like that uh, so yeah, don't don't watch that video. Like, there's footage of that. But if you want to see, you can. But if you don't want to check out the video on the left, we got some insane situation coming out about Diddy. Yeah, Diddy. Check out the video on the left on Diddy.